is one of love, seduction, passion, heartbreak, good and bad times, and finally, a resolution. Our dramatis personae are pot, lid, dishcloth, broom, and twirling stick, inanimate objects usually found in the kitchen. However, as with so many stories, we find that they take on a life larger than their own for our own musical kitchen review. La Revue de Cuisine. <laughs> Our story begins with a happily married couple, Pot and Lid, on the stove, a soup boiling between them. Pot says, Oh, my little Lid, ma chérie, the steam upon your bottom causes me to bubble more and more. Hello, ma chérie, let's go to a romantic bistro for an evening of dancing. Lid replies, Share Pot. You know I can't leave the back kitchen right now. Our soup isn't finished. The vegetables aren't cooked. The meat needs me. And the cuisine is a mess. Pot continues. Why do we have to stay in the kitchen all of the time? We never have any fun like we used to. It is such a shame. Hey, don't. Hey. Ho, ho, ho. Who is that exquisite creature dancing around me? So long. So svelte, mon dieu, it is the twirling stick. Bonjour, mademoiselle. I am so overcome by your beauty, by your charm, by your sexy handle. See what play. Continue to dance. You are the vision of grace and voice. Moves become more intense as she targets 
her new love interest. Pot succumbs to the seductions of twirling stick and is so inflamed by passion that Lid, who is still bubbling on Pot's head, boils off and rolls away in the corner. Pot pays no attention to Lid. He is totally ready for a fling with twirling stick and follows her every move, leaving the kitchen, leaving Lid, leaving his duty. <laughs>
shoes of a dishcloth, who now, in earnest, is trying to seduce Lid. The broom says, <coughs> excuse me, Mr. Dishcloth, but I believe the Lid you are speaking with is a lady well above your station, and I do not think it's appropriate for you to be buffing her like that, and especially without soap. <laughs> and Dishcloth replies, you're talking to me, bro? The lady likes me, and as far as I can see, this is none of your beeswax. Bro challenges Dishcloth to a duel on the dance floor. With all of the dancers watching, it is quite a scene. Twirling stick loves every minute of the fight, and shows the ecstasy in her dancing with pot. As Lynn watches the fight, she becomes a victim of the sparring and rolls off the stage. Dishcloth and Broom suffer injuries in the duel. Broom splinters his handle, and Dishcloth is badly stained. <laughs> they retire from this sordid scene to rest from the fight. Pot goes off with twirling stick, and they become part of the Parisian nightlife, going from one supper club to another. And the rage of the day is the Charleston the dance of abandon and freedom from the gay twenties. <laughs>
to beg forgiveness. He blames Trumming Stick for all of the trouble in his marriage. He dejectedly looks for his mate. Chrome is also crying at the loss of Lid, and Lid cannot be found anywhere. Finally, an outlandish deus ex machina, an enormous foot from the wings, kicks Lid back onto the stage and saves the day. Chrome takes Lid back to Pot, to the great joy of all the characters. Pot sees Lid and cries, Oh, mon chéri! Are the happiest couple in the world. 